This video will show you how to add a book to your Moodle course. The first thing you have to do is click on Add an Activity or Resource. Scroll down to Resources and choose Book. Books are a module that allows you to create several pages of related content. And you can put any kind of media or text files in a book. But uh, think about when you're putting content into your Moodle shell, you don't want to have more than two scrolls for a screen for content. So if you've got some content that's more than two screens long, you should start thinking about maybe adding a book. So the way you add a book is click Add. Give your book a name. I'm just going to call mine Example Book. And like every other resource you add or activity, you have to put a description. And then scroll down. I choose under Chapter Formatting none. I don't want to see numbers in my chapters. And then I just go down here and click Save and Display. And that takes me to the first page of my book. So even though it says here chapter title, um, this is really a page. Think of it as a page in your book. Um, you can create sub chapters, which are sub pages in your book, but don't worry about that. Usually the best thing to do is just simply create pages. So I'm going to make a book really quickly here on online teaching strategies. And the way I'm doing that is I have some, I've done some research in, uh, on the internet. And um, so I'm just going to grab some stuff and uh, it's not going to be carefully thought out or in depth or anything like that. So let's say here, um, this is something I've decided to use. So how I can do this is I can simply copy it, go to my book, and I can paste that content into my book. And I might want to take the heading for that article and put it up here. And then, so that means I'm going to erase it from here. So just looking at this text, um, it's kind of a little bit overwhelming. If it was something I was really going to use, I might break it up a bit more. But uh, I do want to at least make it a 14 point font. Now, of course, I don't want to plagiarize or steal things from other people. So the other thing I have to do is I have to make sure that I attribute my source. And so to do that I would copy the URL and um, I would say something like and put the URL in there. And of course I would make it a live link so that if someone wants to click on it and read further, they can. So now I'm going to hit Save Changes. So now I have page one of my book. So to add a second page, I click here on Add New Chapter. And then I'm going to go to the internet again. And I'm going to get some other content. So here's something about the community of inquiry model and uh, something that is sort of interesting to talk about and think about when you're doing online teaching. So I'm going to go in here and once again I'm going to paste that content and I'm going to take the title and pop it up here. I'm going to make the text larger and I am going to attribute by copying the URL and popping it in down here. And once again, I'm going to make that link live if somebody wants to click on it. Alright, now I'm going to save changes. 
so now I have page two of my book. So I'm gonna add just I'm gonna add just one more page, and in this case I have something here that's just about seven principles of good practice. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it. Oops. I have to use my keyword commands for pasting into Word. You may have noticed that. I mean pasting into Moodle. And once again I'm going to oh look at this. I'm gonna get rid of that. <coughs> And I'm going to move this up here. And once again, I'm going to attribute. So this is a very, you know, basic demonstration of the concept of getting content that you want students to read and putting it into Moodle for them to read in a book. So I've got page one, I've got page two, and I've got page three. So this is one way to really get focused content. Uh, it's more focused than just sending a student to a web page where they might not know exactly what you want them to read on the web page. And it's also a way to get a good variety of content. And uh, if you really work at it, sometimes you can do this instead of assigning a book to students. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, and I look forward to seeing your books.